Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Aesork, or otherwise known as Kev Kev, and today is Sunday, so it's going to be Special Class Sunday, episode number 6, the James Bond class. So let's jump right into this episode. Alright, so, I was super excited to play this class as soon as I got my hands on it, because it's a freaking awesome class. I love it. 10 out of 10, would James Bond with again. But, um, I, I have to give my props to Bambi. He was the one, it's like the second class um, that he's created for me, and it was awesome. Great theme, and I definitely loved it, so shout out to you, man. Good stuff. Uh, keep it up. So it's a pretty straightforward class. It's not that complicated. You guys can see what it is in the background gameplay. So overall, I had a pretty enjoyable time. In the middle of my session, I was really frustrated though because I kept getting a bullshitted on, you know, bad connection, frame rate lag. I don't know what it was. I mean, it says that it was on like a four bar with like 80, 90 ping, which is like kind of my normal sort of good connection. But I was getting a really, really insane amount of frame rate lag. I don't know why, but um, for one game, it managed to stop for a little bit, and I managed to get a hater and, and the power core, so that was awesome, and I, I had a good time with that. So, all in all, it was a pretty fun session, uh, as it was, and I, I just take things as they go these days, because I was playing hardcore as I was requested to, and I felt really horrible, because that right there was the one time I betrayed a teammate, and I felt so bad for it, because it was happening to me so much every time, like, I was in between the counter UAV and the hater, when I really needed to go clutch and try and get that hater, because I, I don't usually put the hater on, and I was able to get it in, like, that one gameplay and I was so happy about that because I mean I was I just kept getting betrayed like really really bad situations like that a teammate throwing a frag grenade and that would kill me when I was like 10 points off my hater and I, I was just so frustrated by that I was like no I was so close and then just uh, yeah and a, a couple of bad teammates you know just shooting me like if I rush around a corner and they think I'm an enemy because they can't see the tag or whatever so yeah that kind of sucks but oh well but uh, getting straight to the class, it was very, very interesting because we actually had a class that had some range this time around. It wasn't like the previous episode where we had a shotgun. So that changed up my playstyle a hell of a lot because I actually have a weapon where I can get kills at short, medium, and long ranges. So instead of trying to create a hotspot where I'm trying to make people come towards a point in the map, I'm not trying to do that this time around. I'm running around the map and actually going to them, playing a bit more aggressive, but also trying to ambush kids and flank them, come up behind them and play the objective so that way I can get as many points as possible so that way I'm all that closer to the ideal VSAT and power core, which is what I was chasing after. Now, let's talk about attachments. For starters, the first one was the suppressor, and even though it does reduce the range on guns and make it more difficult to get kills at uh, longer distances, I still felt as if I was able to hit those longer range shots. I don't know why, probably because it was hardcore, but it just didn't even seem to have that much of an effect in hardcore. I was still able to get like those two, three shot kills uh, at longer ranges, so that was awesome and I loved that, and uh, thank you to hardcore, so that was awesome. and. Whenever kids got a UAV, I was able to still stay invisible on their radar whenever I was shooting, and I also had the ghost perk, uh, which definitely helped out with that, and blast suppressor. So I just was not coming up on their radar at all. Super stealthy, great stuff. Now, just as you could see in that case just then, I was rushing my shots quite a few times, and I was also pre-firing a bit because my teammate got the hater. So I was thinking, you know what, don't take any chances, just shoot the wall until they come running past, and then I'll eventually get them. So yeah, that's what happened, and the the fast mag was always great being able to reload super quickly whenever I really needed to, so that was awesome. Except for that, the ELO site, awesome, great, reliable site, as always, definitely my favorite in the game by far. Now, uh, moving on to perks, the perks were being super stealthy, of course, we've got the ghost, the tracker, and uh, tracker was probably the only odd one out, but it was still good to come up behind kids and make sure I could flank them and track them effectively. Uh, the, the super stealthy ones, though, really helped me out because whenever my teammates got killed and the enemy team got a UAV, I could punish them straight away. I can just be like, okay, they got overconfident, they've got 
got a UAV up, so they're going to be running around trying to kill those red dots, but they don't know where I am because I've got Ghost on, so I could just easily pick them off as soon as they came rushing around corners and things like that. So that was awesome, and uh, yeah, only negative point to this class would probably have to be that I was getting sprayed by assault rifles and SMGs because they didn't have uh, a, a semi-auto gun most of the time. A lot of them had automatic guns. So they could just hold down the trigger and then just spray and pray and then I would die. So that that was probably the only negative part. But uh, except for that, overall, great class. So thank you to uh, Bambi for that one. Anyway, uh, this episode is going to be coming to an end. And I did say with a clip, so I'll leave that in the very end. In case you guys do have any other suggestions, then leave them in the comment section down below for the next episodes. Hit me up on Twitter if you really want to, I've been starting to use that a bit more, or contact me over Xbox Live, uh, my gamer tag will also be in the description. But that's just about it from me, I hope you've all enjoyed this episode, I've been Asork, or otherwise known as Kev, Kev, and I'll see you all next time. Cerberus inbound.